Good morning everyone, welcome to another vlog. Today we are going on a staycation after being locked up for so long, not being able to go out. So we're going literally 40 minutes down the road, but it was the only place you could find, everywhere was booked up, and it is a beautiful lodge on a lake. And we are bringing our four-year-old chocolate Labrador along for the ride. We arrived at the lake to a beautiful lodge that sleeps seven and it really is a gorgeous view of the lake and the owners introduce you to the ducks, they give you some bread on arrival. There was lots of thoughtful touches like them leaving fresh eggs for us. <laughs> there he's made himself at home. Mm. Aren't they? Mm. It's it like cheese and crackers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Adam>. <laughs> what? <laughs> We settled into the lodge with a rainy barbecue, as you can see. You get given a bike shed of 25 bikes, so we got our bikes and made our way to the fire pit. We've got some very strange artifacts here. What the hell is this? <laughs> We've had an introduction to this, but you haven't, Adele, so like, you had no idea this was here. Like, how weird must it be for them to? So I feel like we're in like the Blair Witch Project here and like we're in the middle of the woods on our own and it's gonna get dark and there's no way of getting back because it's too dark. Actually, how are we gonna get back if it goes dark? There's no lights anywhere. I feel like I'm having my eye on Joe. Watch the... <laughs> Cheers. Oh, Joe's in adventure mode. He thinks he's Bear Grylls. <laughs> oh my God, the fire pit. I feel like I'm 16 again. Whole tree's coming down, Hannah. Oh my god, I thought I'm gonna break it. I don't find this is a joke! Oh my god, that is actually amazing. Jack? Let's try Jack, if he falls it'll be so funny. I don't feel like it's gonna hold us. No, that's gonna break. Ooh. Look at that. I don't know, Joe. <gasps> oh well, it's not like it's a long way that you'll fall. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, go swimming! Come on! So classy with my wine. Any bear? <gasps> Oops. Might have hit his teeth there. Oh, look at that. Corona's in oh, the background. Do it on the side of the, the wood. Perfect. Jack needs his teeth, but you might break them. This dog is loving it. Just going into the water of his own accord. Normally we have to throw something. I'm on a tire swing, by the way. That's why the recording's so wobbly. And I've had a few wines. Just such a little picturesque setting, a little fire pit, we got it going. It's just started here and it's just really peaceful. The guys thought they were king of fire after making this beauty. The next morning we got up bright and early and decided to do some shots. I don't think Zero's on a cup, I've never seen Zero. 21 red! <laughs> right, I have found the cup that's got, so it's a red coloured cup then. Do each have there, that one. That one. Oh, tail straight on the top of your Oh, okay. oh yes. That one? <laughs> yeah. Where? No, that's 18. Oh, yeah. no, I can see 18. I've got stuck. A bit of body. <laughs> <laughs> It's warm and it's lovely. It's just, yeah, mine are running as well. <laughs> it's got a bit sick. <laughs> Toffee vodka at 10.37 in the morning. 10.37 a.m. as all systems go. 
25 to turn. Oh, I think that's a straight gin. Water in it. Jack York. Yes, such water. bad Go luck. Okay. <laughs> so we are at the boat deck. You just basically help yourself to one of these boats. We've got geese over here, but they are massive. This one here is huge. Look at that. Oh, he fell. <laughs> A life jacket shed. So many ducks. It's like a gondola. I can't believe got there and a little peddler. I've never been on a rowing boat, I don't think. Fair, doesn't know what's going on. There's wagging his tail. <laughs> what's up, baby? Didn't realise here that he was actually going to go for the oar because he loves splashing water. I think. Beautiful house. Just disembarked. <laughs> Come to a cricket club. So it's very random, but the lake does have these quirky little things. But it's a very family friendly place, so I feel like the kids would love little bits like this. There's llamas and horse over here. Horses. Oh, duckling! Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. This went on for a long time, so I thought I might have stressed them out. Oh. I think this is so cool that they remember to include stuff like this, especially for the kids. Every day on the way to the fire pit, we always said hello to the peacocks, and if you make a noise like them, they'll always imitate you. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Get on! We had this great front lawn at the front of the lodge so we spent ages here in the morning we would just sit with our cup of tea and look out onto the lake but here we're just drinking cocktails Any ingredients um flat and warm love, love jack special juice and more no, come on. don't ever say jack special <laughs> juice again <laughs> So I'm just on the way to the fire pit and Adam and Jess have just rode ahead on our bikes. Jess have just rode ahead. Very big night because Adam is going to. I am just waiting for Joe and Bear behind us. We've got a hamper. We've got a secret champagne stashed in a picnic hamper to celebrate afterwards. To celebrate after. He's gonna propose and she has no idea. Come on, Barry. <laughs> to this fire pit tonight which is beautiful it's a bit better than last night because it's got back on the benches my back was hurting <laughs> a bit of meat that's <laughs> dropped on the bonfire it is now smoldering and smoking
cousin. Don't be husband. Don't be husband. Cousin in law. Cousin in law. <laughs> oh. oh my god, are you guys fiance and fiance in law? Is that a thing? Fiance and fiance. Fiance in law. Fiance in law. So after that great success, they stayed with us and then went home the next morning and my sister and her boyfriend came to visit us for the last night. So this is the last night by the fire pit. That is too weak. What are you doing? <laughs> Jack thought it was funny to climb a tree that was about to break. Straddle that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? of the lodge in my description and thanks so much for watching hope to see you on the next one